What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Cosmeteer, Starship Architect and Commander. Last time we played this, we played the Blocky Boy or Blocky Boomy Boy uh, ship and it was very explosive and very well armored and it worked really, really well. This time I want to flip things on its head and try something very different and that is going to be uh, a scavenging only run. Scavenging, I mean, what I mean scavenging, I mean mining, you know, constructing, stuff like that. I want to try to do that to gain money. I don't know how that's going to go, but I know that there's lots of asteroids in the game and there's things that you can get that let you scavenge a little bit better and stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll try on a harder economic difficulty like Architect or something. Uh, that is the normal level it seems like. I was playing on Builder before, which is the um, the kind of easier level. Uh, and we'll do a normal combat difficulty since we don't plan on doing too much combat in this one. Uh, we'll start with um, whichever one has the biggest capacity, honestly. Yeah, let's try the Model L. It's uh, kind of the default one that it starts you on. Um, when you start. Now we're gonna turn this into a complete scavenging ship. So its only job is really going to be scavenging things. It's gonna have some weapons, of course, you know, just in case. We need to have a couple weapons to defend it. But it's gonna be scavenging only. We're not gonna grab any mining missions. We'll grab a couple of those scavenging missions though, and that'll be fine. That's a really cool looking station. Oh my gosh, it looks like it'll slice you. Uh, let's go ahead and hail that, see what we got. Um, we're not going to grab any of these fugitive missions because that's not what we're trying to do. However, we can do things like this enriched uranium and this sulfur delivery. Uh, we can also do these exploration ones. That would be kind of cool. Um, but what I'm going to be ultimately trying to do is gra grab some of these right here. Resource, resource collector would be really nice. Um, not entirely necessary though quite yet. But stuff like this would be really cool. Uh, the steel smelter, for instance, um, allowing us to smelt steel out of just iron and stuff like that. Uh, okay, I think we're going to go on our first mission. Should we or should we construct, should we change the ship design first? Because we don't have very much storage. Okay, before we go on our first mission, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to grab a couple of these. I'm going to go boom, boom, like that. That's pretty much going to use all, up all of our money, but we're, we're um, getting a lot more storage, which is going to help a lot in our mining. So let's go ahead and do that. Speed things up just a tiny bit while they uh, construct those things. And with that, we will have our first ship. Okay. All right, now obviously if we get into any combat, that's not gonna be good for this guy because it, uh, <laughs> it can't, if it gets shot in the back, these are gonna explode. But let's head on over to an asteroid field and I don't know where one is, but I guess we can head toward the unknown signal and see if that's an asteroid field. Speed things up. We should go, yeah, we go real quick in this thing, actually. We have to be a little, yeah, okay, so this is an asteroid field. What I'm gonna look for right off the bat is something like gold right here. This is the good stuff. That's what we want right there, a little bit of gold. Slow things down, and we're gonna go ahead and try and mine as much of this as we can, which is only two. But the um, the gold is very valuable in this. And I forget what the, the value of the other stuff is, but if we can get a little bit of gold, that'll be good. Now, I think you need a mining laser to get the rest of this stuff that's um, that's out here. So we can't get that at this moment, but got a little bit of gold. That's good. Let's continue on our mission. And if I don't find any more gold, I'm going to start going for like copper or something. Got sulfur. There's more gold right there. Let's go ahead and stop by this guy and mine a little bit of that. There's actually none to mine here. Oh, no, I'm scammed. OK, we continue. I do not know what tritium is, but let's grab some of it. It's probably valuable. Let's uh, hop out here, grab as much of that as we can. I'll speed up time a little bit while they do that as well because it takes a little bit for them to mine. It would be cool as if there were skills in this. I don't think there are quite yet, but uh, but if there were skills that allowed them to mine faster or you know repair faster or something like that, that'd be pretty neat. Okay, let's keep going, looking for another uh, gold one. I found a uranium one. Maybe we'll go for that. It's actually none on there that we can get, okay. Lots of iron out here. Oh, there's a hostile right there. Now we could fight him if he's coming toward. No, he's not really coming toward us. Uh, so I'm not doing, it's not a pacifist run. I'm just not intending to fight anything. But if they come into our area, we will uh, exert our dominance with our lasers. Which it looks like that is the case here. He's actually coming toward us. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready for a little bit of a fight. We'll, um, we'll scavenge him as well. Actually, you know what? He's not coming toward us anymore, but you know what? I am hyped up. We're going for a fight. Uh, what does he have? Looks like he's got uh, just a couple lasers. Actually, quite a few lasers I'm a little afraid of. But let's take this fight. We'll hit him in the, uh, in the lasers. There we go. There's one down. Hit the other one. There's another one down. Hit the next one. 
Next one down, and finally the last one right there. It's down. Let's just fire straight into their uh, reactor core here. Awesome. All right, let's go up right next to it, and we can scavenge a little bit. Grab as much of this as we can, and we shouldn't be able to hold that much because we don't have that much cargo, but at least a little bit of this we can grab. All right, cool. We grabbed a couple of things. In fact, these hypercoils here are worth a, a pretty penny. All right, we're full up on cargo. Let's go on and head on back to our base. Sell this stuff, see what we get from it. Hopefully we get a little bit. <laughs> let's see if this is viable. All right, stop on right here. And let's go ahead and hail them, see what they got. Hey guys, I'd like to sell you some stuff. Okay, so we have a lot of this stuff we can sell. We have a lot of, I'm not gonna sell this stuff quite yet, but you see the hyper coils are actually worth quite a bit. Um, so are the processors. But this iron here, oh, the, the tritanium is actually worth a lot. All right, let's go ahead and sell that. And then the gold is worth a little bit too. We only got three though. Um, but we'll go ahead and sell the iron, that stuff. Let's initiate that trade. And in fact, you know what? We're not building anything right now, so might as well sell everything. Uh, including the stuff we scavenged. All right, not exactly the fastest way to make money, but if I go in here now, we could technically uh, start... We could get a resource collector if we want to. Maybe we get a mining laser. It's only 3,000. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Since we are mining, that would be helpful. We can maybe throw it right in the center right there. Let's uh, try and build that up. I don't know if it can be interior. I don't really know how it works. Oh, it's an exterior thing. Hang on. So then I could technically put it back here. All right, I changed up a little bit of how the ship works. Uh, I got the mining laser back here and I have room for those other lasers if we want to add them later. I expanded the, the width of the ship by one on each side. So we now have a little bit more space and everything should work fine. All right, let's go on our next mission, which is going to be uh, something over here. We're going to go back to our asteroid uh, and try and grab some stuff. Um, in fact, let's go to this, see if that's another asteroid field. Speed things up just a tad. Oh man, our ship is so square. Look at this. Uh, what is this? This is the target area. Hang on, I don't want to be over here. I'm going to look for an asteroid. I need to find an asteroid field. I could go back to that one, but I'd love to find another one that might have some gold. All right, I'm seeing an asteroid field right here. The only problem is it's surrounded by enemies, so I don't really want to uh, go to that one. But we'll go back to this one, grab some stuff, and sell it. If we can find some more titanium, that stuff sold for a lot. Some more gold obviously would be good. Copper, I think, is pretty solid. Maybe go for a little bit of that. We have a mining laser now, so really we should be able to get everything. Yeah, mining laser's going ham. Look at that. There's a battle going on over here. Uh, it's right about there. So let me go ahead and recall everybody. If I can, we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna see if I can scavenge some of that stuff that they just uh, that they just fought over. Let's see. So it should be around here. I'm not entirely sure, but let's slow things down just a tad. Uh, we're looking for some some parts, some scraps. Ah, perfect. Here we go. This is where the battle took place, and it looks like there's some goodies in there. I think I might as well grab some of this stuff. That's some good stuff to sell, I think. And it's always so weird how after you get all the all your people flying around, there's always some random people left outside flying around, even though all your people get back in the ship. So I don't know. That's very, very strange. But let's head back over here, see if I can go get my uh, the rest of my copper, because I think I might have left some behind. All right. Um, if we can find our gold rock again, that would be really helpful, because I bet you there's some gold on there that we couldn't get last time. There we go. There's our gold rock. Hey, gold, do you have any on you by any chance? Yeah, we got a little bit of gold we can get. Let's let the mining laser do its job. And then we'll grab our let our people get out there and get it. There's our other gold rock right there. There's our titanium rock. We'll go for some uranium, maybe. All right, at this point, we have a full container. Lots of gold in here. We got lots of titanium. We got lots of iron, or maybe that's copper, actually. Uh, and we got a couple things we scavenged as well. Let's go on and head on, head on back to the base and see what we can get for this stuff. Hopefully quite a bit. I'd love to get like a steel smelting thing online so I can start uh, grabbing iron and turning that into uh, steel plates. That'd be really good. Uh, okay, so let's hail and let's see what we can get for this stuff. All right, um, for the hypermium, a little bit. That's stuff we scavenged. For the steel, also stuff we scavenged. Hypercoils, we scavenged. Same with enriched uranium. Um, but the copper, we're getting a lot from copper, a lot from gold. Uh, a lot from Tritanium there, and a lot from Uranium. In total, we're getting 12k. Let's initiate that trade. And uh, let them give us some money. 
Now, at some point, we need to address these things. We uh, They want us to have 12 people, and they also want us to have um, 1.9 power. So, at some point, we'll need to expand the size of the ship. But for now, I think it's going to be fine, dare I say. Now, I could expand the size of the ship myself. Wouldn't be too hard, actually. I could move here. Let's go blueprint mode real quick. Let's unpause, make it so. Actually only cost us 2,000. And I bet you it would have cost us less, by the way, if I had kept all the uh, the materials I just sold. I feel like now would be a good time to go ahead and save the ship design as our first, this is our blocky, boomy boy. This will be our, uh, our um, what, what, what hauls things? La Do llamas haul things? I'll, I'll call this the llama. Llama, llama laser with a Z. <laughs> we'll call it the llama laser with a Z, how about that? Okay. Uh, well, I, I really love the look of this ship. It looks really awesome <laughs> from the outside. Okay, I don't know that we can do any of their missions quite yet. Although we do have a clear asteroid field. But that's a pirate thing. I don't really want to do any bounties or faction conflicts. But I could do an iron delivery. So you only want me to turn, like, give you iron. But you're only giving me 200. Like, what's the point of this? They're really giving, like, no money. But let's head back into our mines and start grabbing more stuff, I guess. So, uh, we know that copper is pretty good. So let's go ahead and grab as much copper as we can get. I'm just going to keep this on times eight speed. Let my people run out and, and grab things. There we go. Oh, we got this guy heading over toward us. So let's go in one time speed. We're going to get into a battle, looks like. Because this guy wants to fight. Level one swift. Let's see what you got. Uh, he's got a disruptor beam on the right, which I don't really mind. And then he's got a laser blaster on the left. So I guess we'll go ahead and attack the laser blaster here. We have a little bit of armor right there. Let's hopefully... Oh, our... our uh, you see how minor, our mining laser was going in? <laughs> Look, our mining laser's fighting it. I love it. Uh, we actually have no one manning our lasers right now, so the mining laser's doing all the damage. Which is kind of funny. Just a surprising amount of damage, that mining laser. Alright, let's head back over here. We'll do a repair job on all of our stuff, which is barely anything. And we'll grab all this stuff. I think we're going to be full after this trip. We've pretty much got mostly copper on board. So we're going to get a lot if the copper price is high. Uh, let's head on over to our station and sell our stuff. See if we can get enough for like a uh, one of those little factory things. Because that'd be kind of cool. Hailing the ship. Let's see what we get. Okay. So all the way down here. Let's, let's actually look at the prices real quick. So um, it looks like selling copper is worth quite a bit. Selling titanium is worth a lot more though. Uh... Carbon as well. Gold is worth a lot. Uranium is worth a lot. So gold and uranium are the big sellers. Um, but with copper, I'm getting 5k just by getting pretty much an inventory full of copper. So that's pretty good. Tritanium though, getting a little bit there. Enriched uranium as well. Um, I'm going to hold on to that for a second. I'm going to hold on to this stuff for a second. How much would I get for a steel plate? See, a steel plate's giving me 1 or 12. Whereas an iron gives me one for ten. But what's the ratio between iron to steel plate? I wonder. I don't think I have enough to do any real big ship modifications, so I'm actually going to sell everything. And I think I'm fine with that. Grabbing 10k here, that's going to give us enough to buy a um, buy something new. Buy a new blueprint. Let's go ahead and let, let them get rid of everything on our ship. And there we go. That's 21k right there. Checking out this side over here, going down to... Oh, wait. We have these now. These weren't here before. Sensor. It extends the sensor range for your ship. Does not stack with other sensor rays. That's good. Emits a gravitation beam that pulls and push ship is, pushes ships. I can't speak today, apparently. Explosive charge, hyperdrive beacon. That's kind of cool. I'm not interested in that stuff quite yet, though. I want to eventually get to, like, a diamond smelter, because I think that would be the ultimate, um, the ultimate thing, right? Try steel... Yeah, so this stuff would be really good. But we'll start with a steel factory, which is going to be 15k. And then we'll get a coil factory after that. Um, but I think that's how that's how the ship is going to expand in size, really. Is that we're going to get all these things and they're going to cost us some, uh, some size to implement them. But if I want a steel factory, it's pretty large. Uh, so we are going to probably have to reimagine the ship if we want to put this in. So you know what we're going to do? Let's start with another hull. Give us some money before we do some ship reimagining. So we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go back to the same one, I think. 
and we're gonna grab some uh, some stuff. Copper, copper's good. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for copper when we can. That's a copper asteroid, it says, but is there actually copper here? Oh, there is. All right, we've got pretty much a full inventory. Most of it is copper and then a little bit of uh, uranium as well, which is good. So we're gonna check out what they give us for this stuff. And it looks like they're gonna give us uh, quite a bit for the copper and then quite a bit for the uranium as well. Let's go ahead and initiate that trade. We really need to find another asteroid field, I think. So for this, we're gonna want to, um, I think we're gonna wanna ex like change our ship a little bit because we need, first of all, more crew members. Second of all, we need a bigger one of these. Oh, we don't have enough money though if we want to get another reactor core. Okay, I think this is going to help all, uh, us out a lot. We're moving everything back just a little bit and we're getting a, another set of crew. So if I look at our crew, we have eight. They want us to have 12, but we can have 10. So I think we're going to we're gonna grab our 10. Tell these guys, see if we can uh, hire a couple crew members. There we go, we now have 10. And we've got 12K. We need to find another um, another ore patch, I think. Let's just head out this way, because I want to try and find another ore patch, if we can. Uh, we'll head over to this unknown signal, probably. See if that's a station. Oh, shoot. Turn around. Oh, that guy's headed right for us. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a fight, I think. Unknown contact? All right, well, let's get into a fight then. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. All right, what do we have here? We have a level one haywire. It's got a disruptor, and then it's got a point defense system. So it's not actually that much... Um, of a fight here. I can maybe try and go right through here and hit their cockpit, which would kill them. Maybe that's what I'll try and do, actually. That's not a bad idea. Because the mining laser will do some work getting to that. There we go. Cockpit's destroyed, and it should be gone now. All right, let's continue our mission, because we were looking for uh, whatever this is. Unknown signal. Oh, that's just gold. There's just a random gold out here. A large gold asteroid. All right, well, in that case... Yoink! Jeez, we have a lot of gold on board. Alright, let's go ahead and back out of here. That was one unknown signal. We're gonna go to this one now, which hopefully is another base. We're a little bit stuck in here. There we go, we're free. This is another target area. Well, I guess we'll go and fight. Why not? We have a lot of storage. I mean, we might as well if we're removing all these signals. Uh oh. That must be an enemy base. What are you? You're level three. Let's uh, let's go ahead and back our way out of here. I mean, in level three, though, what, what exactly are you a level three for? Because you have missiles. That's why. Is that one of those? And that? Oh, and that. Yeah, let's go ahead and strafe our way out of here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and strafe our way out of here. Let's just back it up, back it up. Out, it hit us in the back, that's fine. We're strafing our way out of here. I feel like we're not strafing properly. Okay, good, we got away. Wait, this guy's gonna fight them. Let me see, actually, if he fights them, he might win. Uh, while he does that, I'm going to go ahead and try and... No, I can't repair my stuff, can I? Can I repair that at least? And these? And that? And that? And that, and that. I'm going to repair my stuff while he fights them, and then I'm going to go and uh, third party it, you know what I mean? <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Uh, This guy came out of nowhere. Is it fine? It might be. I just need to destroy this. Right here. Uh... We're, the problem is we're a little low already. We have someone EVAing. Make sure everyone's out of EVA. I think we might win this fight though. Yeah, we win this fight, easy. Okay, fight this now. They have no more weapons. Oh man, that was actually kind of tense. We're not really built to fight. If we were, we would have been fine. Like with that other ship we had last episode of this game, we would have been totally fine fighting that guy. But with this one, I'm a little bit skeptical. Even though the mining laser seems to go hard, I'm a little skeptical about our ability to fight a level three thing. So let's let them... Oh, they're going far. Why are they going so far? Okay, scavenging the next ship along, and we're using our mining laser to do it. This is why we need more crew members, by the way, so more people can give this thing uh, power. Because this requires, actually, like a, a steady stream of power, it seems like. And finally, we should have one more over here that I saw. This, I think, was the scary one that had the, the missile launcher. 
And it looks like this got taken out by the other dude. All right, cool. Let's continue our mission to head over to this unknown signal, which keeps getting distracted. <laughs> I think this is a station, but this one right here might be enemy base or something. Uh, yeah, this might be. I don't really want to get into another fight, even though we're kind of fine. <gasps> a random uranium. Well, these guys aren't moving. I could just grab this uranium while I'm here. Oh, hang on. Recall, recall, recall. I think we're in for a battle. This guy does not like that I'm eating their uranium. Let's back off a little bit. What are you? Oh, shoot. You're a level three. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, what do you have, though, really? He's got, like, a big searchlight. That's an exterior light. He's got a uh, bunch of weapons on the side there. A big weapon right here. Uh, then this, which looks like some sort of crazy death thing. He's got a disruptor, which doesn't actually mess with me that much. And then he's got, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. This level three guy, man. Oh, I'm scared. Can I turn and run? Uh, but like away from the asteroid so he doesn't see me because he can't shoot the, through the asteroid. Yeah, he's stuck on the asteroid. Run away, run away. Ah, uh, you can have your forbidden fruit. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I'm running, I'm out of here. Yes, we found another station. All right. This is the unknown contact station. No, this is the Refabeco station. All right, Refabeco station. I would like to hail you. It's very scary out there, uh, but I would like to sell you some stuff. And I've got lots to sell, in fact. I've got some hyper coils. I've got some coil coils. I've got 10,000 worth of gold. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a major overhaul of our ship, I think, at this station. Let's do a trade. Let's... Um, Speed up time just a tiny bit while they trade. Let them do their EPA stuff. Okay, big ship reconstruction, basically. Uh, I need to actually unlock something real quick, because I... Well, actually, you know what I can do? No, I, it would be better if I get the medium one, wouldn't it? The medium reactor core. It costs 10,000, and it needs 16 reactor parts. How many do I have on board? That's the question. I've got six. And how many are you selling? Three. So I couldn't even build it if it needs 16. Okay, well, let's let's start our rebuild then. We're going to go into blueprint mode, make sure it's paused, and we're going to move things around a little bit. So I'm going to duplicate this. We're going to have two of those smack dab in the center like that, and then we're going to change around a lot of our other stuff. So factory-wise, that's the big thing we're, do we're going for here now, is we're going to have a bit of a factory going. All right, this is what we're going with. Let's let them build, but uh, pretty much the ship has expanded a little bit and uh this is what it's gonna look like same storage capacity but now we have a little factory right here which is going to turn iron into steel plates so that's good um now that said we're a little bit more vulnerable i think than before if they hit us here that's not gonna be good um so eventually i'd like the ship to just expand in the front as well we just don't have enough money to do that right now um in terms of crew, we need two more crew members, so let's go ahead and hail. See if we can grab two more crew members. And we're going to run into a problem real, uh, pretty soon where we're not going to have enough um, reputation to get them because we need to get... We need to do missions to get reputation. And we can't really do missions. We can't... Like, these don't give us any... Rep these give us rewards. They don't give us any reputation, though. I'll go ahead and grab that one, though, because it wants us to just go check out a, uh, a station. So that's fine. Um, we still have to explore some unknown signals, so we're actually well on our way to doing that one. This one, this station... Oh, wait, what? Reach... Wait, this was a mission to reach its own station? Hang on. Okay, free money. It's free real estate. Receive payment for that, thank you. <laughs> it's very nice of you. Look, destroy the defense platforms. Two of them have already been destroyed. Maybe I'll go ahead and accept that. Even though we're not really fighting, I might go and fight them. All right, with our new ship, let's go and head on over to... Uh, I want to check out what this is over here, this little unknown signal. See what this is. Maybe a little asteroid field? Oh, nope. This looks like a, uh, a pirate thing. So I don't really want to take that. Oh, hang on. They're actually coming toward us. We might need to fight it. Let's uh, let's hide behind this guy, see if he comes and fights that battle for us. Because if he does, we can third party it and we'll be fine. Hey, what's up, friend? How's it going? You want to take on that, that pirate for us? <laughs> and he is turning to fight. Let's go and head over in, and we're going to help him with that battle. Oh, he's already killed him. Hang on. He defeated him just like that. Holy crap. Okay. 
Thank you. Uh, I'll go ahead and scavenge this. Did that count toward my mission? No, it did not. In fact, speaking of uh, speaking of things, here's just a just a casual iron asteroid here. Might as well grab a little bit of this. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of iron. Well, we are manufacturing iron anyway. Oh wait, what the heck? We have a pirate coming toward us. All right, everyone, back on board, please. Okay, worst case, we can use this. Here, let's actually let's actually get behind this asteroid real quick. We're gonna use it for cover as we uh, as we look to see what this guy is. Pause. Let's see what we got. We have a level three dude with a lot of weapons. Okay, we're gonna do our asteroid technique where we run away using the asteroid for cover. <laughs> and uh, as we try and fly. We are a little faster than them, so it should be fine. In fact, can we lead them? Hang on, hang on. Can we lead them back to our mothership? Come on, just a little bit closer. I promise it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it once you see what I have over here. It's it's all the loot. All of the loot you could possibly imagine. <laughs> It's right over here. Just follow me into this little area over here as I run away and hide behind my friends. My bigger friends with more weapons. <laughs> Alright, come on guys. Get him. I'm gonna- I'll, I'll be over here. Don't mind me. Oh my god, that guy- okay. Okay, we got more friends. We got more people over here. Wait, don't attack me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, he wants me. Everybody fire! Everybody hit him! <laughs> Thank you everybody. Thanks, guys. can always count on you guys. It's actually quite a bit of stuff for us. We're getting a lot of ammo from him because he had four um, massive guns on him. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's everything we can get. Is there any more that I can get in here? Maybe that stuff? I don't know if there's anything else. Well, let's go ahead and sell this stuff right back to him. Okay, so I had wanted to build another one of... Uh, another power here. I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Sell our steel plates, hypercoils, etc. All of this stuff. Initiate that trade to get a little bit of money. And what I want to do now is I want to head out to the... Um, to an asteroid field. I need to find another one. We're going to head off this way, I think. I want to see if I can find an asteroid field out here somewhere. Maybe that? Let's see. What are you? Uh, we got double enemies over there, so I'm gonna head on back this way. Are they trailing me? They do seem to be trailing me. I'm fine if they do. I mean, I'll just bring them back to my lads over here. Oh, they're a level one. Okay, well, let's turn and fight then. I can take this battle. I don't know what that is. But we're gonna hit this. We should be fine. We have a lot of armor on the front. We should be able to... Oh, we have a fire, but it's okay. Our people are taking it out. Is that guy following? No, he's kind of chilling over there. That's good. Okay. So he's not really a threat anymore, but I'm a little worried about his friend here because his friend's getting a little closer as we go. So if his friend... Oh, I hope his friend's level one as well because if it is, then I can fight it. Yeah, it's a glint. Okay. We'll fight the level one here. His... his uh, the, the other guy can't do anything anymore. He's only got disruptor beams, so that's not too much of a threat. We'll, uh, we'll take those out and then take these ones out as well. We're not taking any hits, it looks like, so we're fine. So both of them are now gone. They can't do anything. We're all around the sulfur asteroid as well, so maybe I'll get some sulfur <laughs> once we're done here. Okay, there we go. That's one down. Then let's hit the uh, this guy. Hit his reactor, and he should be fine as well. Okay, cool. We dealt with two pirates. Nice. All right, there we go. We got everything scavenged, which isn't actually that much after we did all of our repairs, but... Oh, we have a lot of these. Which I guess that's just because this is storing those, which we didn't actually make any, but that's fine. Um, we completed one of our missions here. We need to receive payment from one of the stations. I guess we'll go check out this signal over here. Speed things up as we fly on by. I can't believe we've yet to. Uh, I can't believe we haven't found another asteroid. I guess this is one. Well, hang on, that is an asteroid field. Maybe maybe let's go here. So that is a contact. That might be one of our pirates here, which is level one through three. I don't know if that's gonna be a level three contact or. Oh wait, this is the ast this is clear the asteroid field. It's a defense platform. I think I can handle defense platform. I can always retreat if I need to. 
Now that, on the other hand, is a space pirate. Let's hang out for a second, let him fly by. Oh, shoot, he's coming toward me. Friends, please, please handle him. If he wants to murder me. What are you even? Oh, shoot, you're a level three thrasher. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm glad we brought him back. That would not have gone well. Um, he's running away now, that's fine, okay. He's running back to where we need to go, though. Oh, hang on, he's back. He sees me again. If you want to fight, I'll be in here. Come find me over here. Yes! Okay, now we take him on. Uh, we're gonna hit him right here in these weapons. Oh, we're on times four. Holy crap. <laughs> I'll go to the times half. I'll hit him in these weapons now. I'll go one time again. Hit him in this one. Okay, that one's dead. Hit him in this guy. And finally hit him right there. Awesome. He's dead. Fame level up. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we actually get fame by just killing these guys. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and repair all of our stuff. Then let's grab his stuff, which um, is kind of scattered around here. We'll go in times eight speed because we're next to our friends. Nothing really is going to happen. All right, with everything sold, I think it's finally time to get to an asteroid field and sell some uh, or, or find some find some iron. So we can turn it into uh, steel plates. We haven't done that this entire time. We've had that thing set up for so long. Okay, there we go. Iron. I sell gold, which is good. But we're going to grab the iron first. Let's go ahead and grab all of it that we can. And we shouldn't really be attacked. There was a target in here that tried to murder us, which was that guy that we fought just now. Um, now that he's gone, we should be fine. It's a lot of iron. But they should start turning them into steel plates once we're just kind of chilling here. Yay, look at that. See, they're making steel plates out of them. Nice. Okay, I think I'll try and attack this thing, actually. There's nothing else around. Let's see what you got. Your level two cannon platform. So we've got cannons. The good thing about this is I can always retreat from these guys if I want to. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and turn. That's fine, we'll just hit the next set of cannons. They're doing some damage to our front stuff. They've actually killed one of our uh, lasers. But it should be fine, because we've got the mining laser up and running, and it's doing some good damage. We don't really have that much damage going on. We've uh, got a fire, but they should be able to handle it. One more set of stuff here. Good. Okay, they're weaponless now. Let's make sure our fire is dealt with. It is. Okay. Let's hit them in the, uh, in the reactor. Hit them where it hurts. And then head on over. Hail the station! We have come with stuff. Okay. Uh, so we finished this mission, we can receive some- oh, decent payment for that, too. Get some for that. We can sell our gold, that's actually worth quite a bit. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell all my steel plates, and this stuff. Let's go initiate that trade, and then... I'm gonna let them manufacture more steel plates. And see how much that gives us. It's actually worth 960, that's pretty good. Alright, so selling steel plates is a decent way to earn money, but what else can we do? It looks like we can actually make coils, which are pretty good. Coils would be nice. Um, hyper coils would be really nice, though. Tri steel, diamond, all this stuff would be really nice. Processors, oh, that would be really good. Let's go ahead and get the coil factory, and we'll try to uh, try to get our ship built around it. I should be able to build this thing now. If I place it right there, it's going to cost us 25, which is really expensive, but it should be placeable. And that's going to be our little copper factory. So we're going to need to expand our ship again. <laughs> um, definitely. Uh, but we can do it. Okay, tiny change to the ship here. Uh, let's let them build it up. But basically we're adding more storage and we're, uh, we have the copper thing now for the coils. So now we can do that. Um, and all the storage is going to help us with that as well. Okay, so... This right here is going to be our completed iron. This right here is going to be our completed coils. So if I go coils, I'm going to say all this should be coils. And I'm fine with that. Okay, there's our little completed ship. Now, uh, I need more crew members. I can probably only get like one. Which is fine. One will help. Uh, yeah, so just one. But yeah, now we should be able to head on over to uh, back into here. And then do some coil stuff. <laughs> Our ship's a little slow, because we're getting a bit heavier. But if I find some copper anywhere... Let's fly around until we find some copper somewhere. Uh, 
There we go. Copper. We should be able to hop out, grab all that stuff, bring that back on board, and then that should turn into coils. Yeah, okay, just like that. I'm actually finding a lot of copper on these outer uh, these outer edges of the, the map. There's a lot of copper just chilling out over here. There's some carbon right there. I'm not going to grab it right now. But yeah, finding a lot of copper over here. I keep grabbing it when I can. We almost have a thing full of... Uh, of coils there. What are you? Oh, you're a level two. I might be able to fight a level two, actually. Everyone's on board. So you know what? Let's fight a level two. Why not? He's got missiles. That's the problem. Uh, where are they firing from? Right there? Oh, man. Actually, you know what? Let's let's hide behind here. I'm gonna go back to half speed. Oh, okay. Yes. Keep firing missiles at me. Oh, man. That one... I'm just gonna hug this thing and hope the missiles miss. It's in the name. Missiles. Ow. Fire. Fire him, please. Fire at that, maybe. I'm hoping he runs out of missiles. I really need to hit... I mean, I... Oh, man. He's got, like, infinite missiles. Come on, keep hitting. Okay, I'm in the right place because his missile. Most of his missiles are gonna uh, like miss and hit the hit the uh, side there. But I can't hit his this. Come on, keep firing. Come on. Okay, now we're we're missing by this. I need to be right there. I'm gonna target this thing right here. And hopefully as the missiles fire, they're gonna they're gonna hit directly into that. Ah, not me. I don't like it. Please hit this. Okay, let's go into normal speed. Wait, what the heck is this? Another. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Next. This guy's coming toward us. This guy's a level one. We can probably fight the level one. Uh, he hasn't done much damage to us, really. He did a lot of damage to the back, which sucks, but we should be fine. Okay. In fact, you know what? Hit him hit him for this. Directly fire into his uh his reactor here. Come on, hit him in the reactor. Just a couple more shots. There we go. He's dead. Okay. That was a sketchy battle, but we came out on top somehow. Um repairs are gonna take a second. But we should be able to get there. Okay, I think I got everything I can. I don't see anything else here. Uh let's. Slow things down, do a quick check. Okay, so we we can't repair that. Uh, we can probably repair these. I'll see if I can repair these as well, and that, that. But this, we can't really repair because we don't have enough steel. Ah, here we go, perfect, an iron asteroid. This is exactly what we need. So with the iron asteroid, we should be able to turn this into steel, which will help us uh, repair our ship. Okay, we finally got the ship back up and in tip-top shape. We've got everything repaired, and I'm letting them just smelt some stuff right now as we just hang out. I'm going to make them grab some stuff in a second uh, once we get a little bit of this smelted. And then we'll probably head back and see if we can get a nice payday off of all this. Okay, everyone's back on ship and let's head on back to the uh, to the station. Hopefully we don't come across any bad actors. But we had probably our hardest fight of this one, which is crazy because we're not um, even a fighting vessel. We're just kind of trying to mine, <laughs> trying to do our own thing here. There's a little bit of copper we could have gotten, but it's fine. We'll we'll leave it be. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead. Well, actually, I'm going to hit this. Repair all, because there's only one thing we need to repair. And then I want to hop in here and hail you. I want to see how much that copper is going to net me. Um, 12k for all the coils that we got. So that's that's not bad at all. 12k for that stuff. The hyper coils as well uh, is pretty good. I think I'll sell the hyper coil. I'll s not sell the processor, but I'll sell the enriched uranium. And the iron... Never mind, I won't sell the iron. Uh, I will sell our steel plates, though, as well. Yes. And then I'll sell our coils. Yeah, okay, let's sell all that. Let them handle all that. Awesome. They're gonna go ahead and start trying to make some uh, some iron. 
Oh! The heck? That guy ran into us. Okay, but with that cell, I think we're probably going to end this episode here. We got a little bit of reputation, or a little bit of fame, rather. Uh, and we did, we were able to make money by mostly mining. Now, we were fighting where, when the fights came to us, but we weren't doing any bounty missions or anything like that. So it is a viable way to play. Now, uh, continuing, what I would probably do is do some hyper coils like that and maybe start getting some hyper coils and then hopefully try and get some tri steel and eventually get like diamonds and processors and those would be like the ultimate thing. Um, so if you guys want to see that, uh, leave like on this video and comment below that you like this series and we'll try and uh, continue it with uh, continuing this uh, crazy ship. <laughs> Whatever we called this one. Here, let's, let's save it. Let me see what I called it. Uh, save ship design. Oh yeah, the llama laser, which makes no sense. We'll call it the llama laser too, so we save a second one. Um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you guys like this episode of Cosmeteer, Starship, Architect, and Commander, um, please leave a like, put all your comments and suggestions down below in the comments section. Uh, and with that, I will see you all in the next video.